let's talk, start there. So over $30 billion in Bitcoin alone has been lost today. This could be due to hacked wallets, lost keys, um, incorrect addresses. I know personally when I first started out investing in crypto, all of these things happened to me. And even today after being what I consider a seasoned investor, um, I still get nervous every time I make a transfer. So we're really trying to tackle these everyday problems that kind of plague this industry and enable the next wave of investors to come online and jump into crypto. So our solution, Numi Safe is a completely decentralized custody application that will allow users to, to recover all of their assets should they lose their key or their wallet. We're also going to enable people to do safe transfers, so no worry about say, of, of typing in an incorrect address or anything like that. And lastly, we're gonna have an inheritance uh, portion where you can leave all of your crypto assets to the proper heirs instead of it getting lost. And again, we're try trying to solve these really difficult problems that are plaguing today and, um, and enable the next wave of people on board. So a little bit about our team. Uh, Arindam and Chandan, who's here, are on the technical side. They've known each other for about 30 years. They met together, met in uh, college at IIT. And then Arindam, Lily, and myself, we all met at business school at UC Berkeley, Go Bears. Um, and so we've known each other for about 10 plus years. So uh, Lily is really our operational guru. She's the one who keeps us on tasks and makes sure that we execute with oper operational excellence. And I'm more on the partnership and community side with my uh, several years of experience investing. So this is how we've segregated our customer base. We've got the personal investor, the professional investor, and then lastly, this uh, in, uh, institutional investor. We're gonna be focusing on the personal investor initially. So here's a snapshot of our, our revenue model. Again, this is the initial phase just on the personal investor. And if you take a look with a modest adoption rate and a modest annual growth rate, which is probably gonna be significantly higher, we can still achieve very good revenues in a very short period of time. And again, since everything is on the blockchain, we don't have a lot of overhead, we don't have a lot of capital expenditures, we don't have any servers, we don't serve, save any of your data. So really, this is a, a no-brainer. So here's a little bit more about our secret sauce. Again, completely decentralized, completely on the blockchain. We're gonna support all coins and tokens Bitcoin, Ethereum, all ERC-20 tokens, as well as all wallets, so, so software and hardware wallets, Ledger, uh, Trezor, KeepKey, etc. And here's our status. So we have patents pending, we've got a fully functional MVP, we've got a demo that's available today, um, we've got a very aggressive roadmap that we're executing to, uh, we validated our product fit in the marketplace and we're gonna continue to do more market research. We have a survey that we're about to launch as well as our wait list. And of course, we're in the fundraising stage. And a little bit more about our exit options. I'm sure everybody is very familiar with the ICO, the short-term ICO, the midterm play, which is an acquisition by like a Robin Hood or maybe a Trezor or a Ledger to, uh, to, to add to their services already. And of course, if we can really have full execution of our entire vision, we could potentially IPO. 